I am very alarmed tonight at the escalation in the tactics and the words of the Ottawa police, especially the Ottawa police chief. The remarks we heard this afternoon were frightening for any freedom-loving citizen. Quite frankly, they remind me of the Stasi in East Germany when they were floundering and flailing at their worst. To tell your officers that you will investigate and prosecute them for providing water and food to lawful, legal demonstrators is absolutely appalling and should be condemned by every citizen of this country. In fact, this should galvanize our nation to stand against this tyranny. This is exactly why people have gathered here in Ottawa. Because this has to stop. Our Prime Minister is leading this nation into a hateful, divisive, totalitarian society. And this has to stop now. Mr. Police Chief, I call on you to retract those words or resign. What we are hearing from you is absolutely terrifying. I cannot imagine that the day has come in Canada where the police chief says to his officers to stop uh, aiding and abetting the basic necessities of life to people. Not only that, he threatened those that support or attend or somehow find themselves in the vicinity of this lawful and legal protest that is completely protected by our Charter of Rights and Freedoms in Canada, which is enshrined in our Constitution. And he's threatening people like us with searching our bank records, our license plates, facial recognition, Stalin much? Is this North Korea or is this Canada? This has to stop. And this is why there's an awakening across this nation that will not stop until this sort of regime is toppled by peaceful and lawful means. But we have to have a change in government and governance now. That's why I'm in Ottawa. That's why thousands of us are here. That's why millions of Canadians support what is happening. Mainstream polling shows the shift in the narrative is swift and decisive with well over half of Canadians already asking and in favor of all restrictions being lifted now. And that's what the demand is of the protesters here and across this country. So I would urge those in government and those in policing to find themselves on the right side of history. This is not a threat. This is simply the musings of a Canadian citizen that is very alarmed at the totalitarian fascist thoughts of a police chief and government gone rogue.